what's good guys in today's video we're going to be breaking down how to create this seamless zoom out transition similar to the one from the lyrical lemonade catch me outside to music video now i did just drop a tutorial on one of the effects from the same music video so if you want to check that out you can watch it i dropped it right before this video and for today's video we're going to be breaking down how to create that seamless zoom out transition so here in after effects i have two clips from Lil Yachty's music video. And in order to create this transition, you wanna make sure that you overlap your layers. So I'm gonna grab the second clip and I'm just gonna drag that back all the way to like the eight frame mark. So just drag that back. And then what we're gonna do from here is zoom out from the first clip into the second clip. And in order to get the best results, you definitely wanna film your second scene that you're transitioning into in a way where the camera is zooming out from the left side of your subject so that right when it zooms out of the first clip, we have that like seamless zoom out to where we get a full shot of our subject. So after overlapping your two layers, I'm just going to cut the timeline. And what I'm going to do is mask out a part of this layer. The way I approach these transitions is I find some type of opening or some type of like open space from the second clip that we're transitioning into. So in our case, I see this opening right here. We have this window right here. And what I'm going to do is grab the pen tool and just mask out this part of the window just so that I know that this is where I'm going to be zooming out of. But of course, in your case, if you know you have some type of other opening, then you definitely want to mask that part out and then zoom out of the part that you masked out. All right, so after masking that one out, you want to click that layer and then click M twice. Click subtract instead of add. Increase the mask feather. Increase that to like... 25 by doing that it softens the edges and in order to actually create this transition we're going to be using a null object so let's create a new null object cut this layer to the same length as the second clip grab the parent pick whip tool from the second clip and we're just going to drag that onto the null object so now this null object has full control over this second clip and we're going to be keyframing the position as well as the scale because we're going to be zooming out from the left side of this layer which is this window right here that we just masked out from the beginning of this layer, I'm going to go forward 16 frames, keyframe the position as well as the scale. And in my case, because the first clip isn't long enough, you know, it disappears and it creates that transparency. But once we create the animation, it's not going to be noticeable because we are eventually going to be animating the mask expansion for the second clip. So go back to the beginning and I'm going to have this really zoomed in. So I increase the scale to around there and we're going to move the position so that we can find the area that we masked out of. So I keyframe the position as well as the scale like that. And as you guys can see, it zooms out of the second clip, but it still doesn't look really smooth. So what we're going to do is turn on the motion blur for the second clip, easy ease all of these keyframes, go into the graph editor for the position keyframes, grab the point on the right, and we're just going to drag that so that the influence is at 100%. Then we're going to do the same thing for the scale keyframes. Drag the right side so that the influence is at 100%. And now when I play this, we have that zoom out transition. It looks a lot smoother because we adjusted the graph editors. And when I play this, we have that transparency like I mentioned from before. So in order to fix that, we're going to keyframe the mass expansion at the start and then just go forward 16 frames, decrease the mass expansion so that it fully covers the window. Keyframe the mass expansion at negative 145. Easy ease both of these keyframes. Now we don't have that transparent background as the transition is happening. But as I play this, it still doesn't look as smooth as we want it to because we want it to look as if it's zooming out of the first clip as well. So we're going to use this first clip and also drag the parent pip whip tool to that null object. And once you do that, you're going to notice that these keyframes from the null object also applies to the first clip. And it just doesn't look good because this clip is way too small. So we're going to adjust the scale as well as the position for this first clip. Increase the scale. I'll increase that to around 22% and then go towards the beginning and adjust the position. So that's how I'm going to adjust the position as well as the scale. We're also going to turn on the motion blur for this layer. This is what we have for the final animation. So by connecting that first layer to that null object, it creates that really smooth animation where it looks as if a camera is zooming out from the first clip into the second clip. And of course, this transition would look a lot better if you were to actually film the second scene that you transition into where the camera zooms out from the left side and then it fully zooms out so that we can see the subject's face. That's all there is for this transition. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.